What is going on everybody? Welcome to the Elite Suite and today I'm bringing you, I think, the 7th or 8th episode of FIFA 17 Player Rating Predictions. Today we're going over Borussia Dortmund, who is my favorite club. So we've got the chat here who helped me determine the ratings of all of these players, including three new cards that FIFA has not seen yet, which we will get to at the end of the video. If you guys haven't yet, be sure to drop a like. Let's go for 101 likes on this video. Could we hit 101 likes? That would be awesome. Also, subscribe if you're new for daily FIFA 16 and FIFA 17 content. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this new overlay for the series made by Darkness Designs. You can check out his link in the info section below in the comments, the description. I don't know how it works on YouTube. I, th it, I think it's called the description. Yeah. In the description, you can check out Darkness Designs' link to his Twitter. Amazing graphic designer helped me make this one. But starting off at Striker, we have got the likes of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang getting an upgrade from an 84 rated to an 85 rated card. He was 82 to start FIFA 16, but after scoring 25 goals in 28 Eight starts for Dortmund this year also having four assists or five assists excuse me a very very amazing year for Aubameyang could even be an 86 if EAR wanted to push it but I don't think they're going to give him an upgrade on the pace I think he'll be upgraded mostly on shot and dribble so at left wing, we've got Marco Royce on an upgrade from an 86 to an 87 rated card. He has always been a world-class player, and obviously he's my favorite, favorite card. But everybody in the chat was also agreeing with an 87 upgrade, uh, plus one on each of those stats, getting a plus two on dribbling as well. And so Marco Royce getting an upgrade after having 12 goals and three assists in the Bundesliga this year from left mid and left wing position. So at right wing, we've got the transferred back to Dortmund, Lajkowski. So we think that he's going to be a right mid or a right wing, most likely a right mid card in FIFA 17, although it does say right wing right there. But we think he's going to get a downgrade despite his good performance for Poland in the Euros. He did not perform well in the Serie A, and that's why we think he's going to get about a minus one downgrade on everything. However, I think he'll actually get a plus one pace upgrade while everything goes by, down by one or two stats on everything else. At left center midfielder, we've got Gonzalo Castro, who had a quite average year this year. He had three goals and seven assists for Dorman in FIFA 16 in the Bundesliga. So we think he's going to hold the 81 rated card. He could possibly be, possibly be upgraded to a rare card, but I think he'll hold the 81 rating. All right, at center attacking mid for Dortmund, we've got Kagawa getting an upgrade from an 82 rated to an 83 rated card, showing his real talent normally late in the games for Dortmund, man. He has scored nine goals and had eight assists for Dortmund this year in 26 starts, but normally those goals came in late in clutch games as well. So that's why I think Kagawa deserves an upgrade, getting a shot upgrade, a uh, pace upgrade, and a dribbling upgrade as well. At right center midfielder, we've got Vigel, who had a great year for Dortmund. Kind of not really getting any goals or assists for Dortmund this year, but holding down that center defensive mid spot very well. I think he'll be a center defensive mid, although when on footways, it automatically changes their position to whatever I put them in. So I think Vigel will actually be a center defensive mid in FIFA 17, getting an upgrade from a 74 rare card to a 77 non-rare card in FIFA 17. He did start FIFA 16 with, I believe, a... 67 rated card so going up by a total of 10 stats throughout one FIFA is very very solid for Vigel. At left back we've got Marcel Schmelzer who played pretty well for Dortmund getting a team of the season card and an upgrade from a 77 to a 78 in the winter upgrades in FIFA 16. I think he deserves an upgrade to an 80 rated card after playing very good defense for Dortmund. Not really the outside back that gets up the pitch too much but very very good performing from Schmelzer this year all around. So he got an up two or three on each one of his stats. At left center back, we've got Mark Barcher, the transfer from Barcelona. Now being outplayed by Mascherano and PK at Barcelona, along with Matthew also getting a little bit of time. So Mark Barcher and Matthew were normally the play players, the center backs for Barcelona that didn't really get any playing time. So with that being said, I think he will get a downgrade from an 80 to a 79 rated card, but he's going to, I don't know, I feel like he'll perform well for Dortmund, so I don't want to downgrade him to 78, but 79 rated I think is fitting a minus one downgrade for Mark Bartra in FIFA 17. It was hard to determine who is going to start at right center back for Dortmund next year, but I think it'll be Socrates still. There are rumors that Subotic is leaving Dortmund this summer. I'm not sure where he's going to go or if he will go, but I think Socrates will be the right center back rather than Sven Bender, who we have on the bench. We'll cover him in a second, but getting a downgrade from an 83 to an 82 rated card. He does got an upgrade on dribbling. 
because he has gone uh, around the outside back a lot this year. He kind of likes to dribble to an outside back position and pass it up the wing. That's kind of just what Socrates does. And so I think his dribbling should go up by a little bit because he, he can play fullback very, very well. And all the other stats going down by one or two. The defense going down from 86 rated to 84 rated, which I think is fitting for Socrates. At right back, we've got a downgrade for Peace Check. Another player who played well in the Euros with Blachkowski for Poland is Peace Check, but I think he'll get a downgrade after having a very below average year for Dortmund. He's getting older as well, so I think his pace and physical will be downgraded by about two stats each and everything else going down by about one. After Berkey started in every single Bundesliga game except for one where Weidenfeller started, I think he's going to get an upgrade from an 80 to an 81 rated card. A lot of people were saying that he would stay at 80, and then a lot of other people were also saying that he would go up to 82 rated. So we kind of met in the middle here with Berkey, going with a plus one upgrade, getting a rare card in FIFA 17, and all of his stats going up by about one. All right, at left uh bench here we've got sven bender who might start over socrates next year it's very very possible that he could getting an upgrade from 80 to 81 rated and going from a center defensive mid position to a center back is what i think bender will get in fifa 17 and Durham, this was one of the hardest players to um predict because Durham played a lot of right mid played a lot of right wing played some left mid and played some left back for dortmund this year um, in, you know, during the 2015-2016 Bundesliga season. So we decided to go with a left mid card because that's kind of what EA did with Grosskreutz a couple years ago with Dorman, going from a left back to a left mid card at while he played left mid, center mid. They decided to go with a left mid card. So I think they'll follow the same trend with Durham here. But Durham getting a downgrade from a 77 to a 76 rated card. Um, all right, and Eric Durham at the right bench i guess you could say but we've got him playing left midfielder next year so this is going to be this was one of the hardest players to predict uh their position because he played a lot of right mid right wing um left mid and left back for dortmund this year in the 2015 2016 bundesliga season so we think he will hold the 76 rated getting a rare card in fifa 17 and getting his pace upgraded by just a little bit stats all over the place defense going down because if he's going to get that boost to a left mid instead of a left back i think his defense will go down while other stats like pace go up. All right, so first player that wasn't in FIFA 16 that we have made a FIFA 17 card for is Emre Moore, who I think will have five-star skills going into FIFA 17 with 84 pace, 85 dribble, 66 shot, 65 passing, 57 physical, and 36 defense as a center forward card. Some people were saying that he might be a right wing, but we've got a lot of right wings that we've made for Dortmund, and I thought that he was more of a center forward looking card in my opinion. So we went with center forward there, although it's kind Kind of up for grabs of what EA will do with his position as well. Christian Pulisic, the American 17-year-old uh, that played for Dortmund this year, also played for the U.S. Men's National Team, I think will be a 72-rated right mid card. Some people were saying center attacking mid and some people were saying left mid, but he played mostly right mid for Dortmund in particular, while he played more of a center attacking mid for uh, the U.S. Men's National Team. Well, we went with right mid on this card, getting 83 pace, 73 dribble, 69 physical, 73 shot, 70 passing, and 42 defense on his FIFA 17 card. And then one more player that we've got here is Ousmane Dembele, the French right winger slash striker slash center attacking mid. So we went with right wing on his card as well. He is very, very pacey, so he would fit that position, obviously. 89 pace, 78 dribbling, 71 shot, 64 physical, 31 defense, and set 68 passing for Dembele in FIFA 17 is what we think his card will be. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to hit the like button. Again, 101 likes is what we're going for on the Dortmund FIFA 17 Prediction Squad Builder. Thank you guys so much for your recent support on YouTube. You guys have been blowing up this series like crazy, man. You guys have been showing so much support, and I cannot thank you guys enough for the support you guys show on the stream and on YouTube as well. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed your stay at the Elite. Sweet! And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.